piece here representing Pan Am Boxing. Give it up for Matt Rusick. Yeah. Oh, Matthew Rusick. Greetings. Greetings, <laughs> sir. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. And it's been a while. Yeah. It has been. Yeah. I feel like it's been at least 10 plus years. Or seconds. <laughs> 10 plus, <laughs> it may have been one of those. Okay, well, yeah. How are things over at Pan Am Boxing? Things are great. Uh, boxing's going well, club is busy, members are great, our volunteers are great. Uh, we also have Pan Am Place, which just opened up last year, mm -hmm. if you haven't heard about it. Uh, youth transitional facility, young men, uh, 18 to 25, getting their lives back on track, living with us, training, job skills, getting their education, and uh, pointing them in a good direction. How long have you been a boxer for yourself? Because obviously you have to have experience. I mean, if I was to apply for that job that you do, I imagine that uh, the interview would be short. <laughs> <laughs> we teach you. Uh, not, it's not a necessity for what I do now. I'm more of a house cat. Okay. But uh, I used to manage Pan Am Boxing, and you do need a little bit of experience. Uh, so I've been recreationally training on and off for about five years. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever done any like competitions? I uh, used to. Yeah, a few years yeah. ago. Yeah. You ever get like, you ever get knocked out completely? Not knocked out though. I had a different nose a little while back, but a different <laughs> nose. <laughs> yeah, that's good now. I can go to sleep and breathe normally. So. That was a problem before. A little bit. Is that a common yeah. problem with boxers? Is they don't breathe well out of the nose? Uh, it can be. So wait, wait, you got in a fight and they fixed your nose? <laughs> I wish. I was trying to make them knock it the other way afterwards, but it was, uh, no, it was, eh, it comes with the territory, but it's pretty rare. I'd say it's weird. Boxing is one of those sports you just don't get hurt in. I'm wondering though, like, well, you get punched in the head enough times, and you, you're like a very smart, well-spoken guy. Like, how do you maintain your brain cells? Well, I didn't, I don't remember. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I don't remember where I parked. So, uh, <laughs> uh, the best boxers really don't get hit, and that's what a lot mm. of our trainers we teach is that it's not just getting in there with your head down and brawling, it's a little bit more of a tactical uh, experience, and you're, really you don't want to get hurt, and that's where you can do it longer, and you can coach afterwards you, instead of being kind of like a bag of mush after a few years. <laughs> yeah. bag of mush. Do you ever get guys that come in there and they're like, oh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna change the game. And yeah, they those just the, get in there. And those are the best guys. Just get hammered into the ground or something. Yeah, That'd be me they, probably. <laughs> I <No, laughs> show up with a Chewbacca sweater and <laughs> you're like, someone come at me. It's, <laughs> not unconscious. We get a few guys like that, but it's one of those things where you got to be humble. Yeah. And if you're not ready, you're not ready. And it's part, attitude's a big part of it too. You got to respect who you're with. And if you don't, then mm -hmm. people get hurt. So we don't condone that at our club. It's pretty safe. And the guys that actually get in and train and spar are well trained and well supervised. So, and we trust them. So that's good. Yeah. Now you were mentioning the Pan Am Place, yes. which is the uh, youth residency that you yep. guys have. I actually got a tour of that place when they were building it, yes. and aside from experiencing overwhelming amounts of sawdust. <laughs> I saw some fantastic things going in there. Right. Like kitchens and yeah. bedrooms where you could. You could like yell to your your friend over there. You'd be like, "Hey, yeah, camaraderie, sure. <laughs> camaraderie, yeah." Uh, less sawdust now, mm -hmm. so that's great. That's good. Twenty for living. twenty percent less. Yeah, twenty. Uh, <laughs> we also have uh, yeah. We finished up now. We have a second floor, which is kind of like an open dorm style um, living quarter. So the guys, there's capacity for thirteen on that level. Hopefully, in the next few months, we'll be opening another level, so we have room for thirty guys. 30. 30 guys. How do you, like, what's the food bill like? That sounds crazy. <laughs> uh, 40 young, like, men and boys. Yeah, you ever bought $200 worth of milk at once? People look at you <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. do, yeah. They go, and then what do you do that again the next day? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, I used to be a cashier at Superstore way back in the day, and when you have those sort of odd checkouts, and you go, I wonder what he's doing tonight. <laughs> but, uh, they, you should put them all on the counter and look the guy in the eye and go, you ever just lie in it? <laughs> it's great for your board, yeah. <laughs> That'd be worth it. Yeah. So, it, you know, there's a cost associated with it, but, you know, it's, we figured out it's worth it. And um, we have a great fundraising program with Pan Am Boxing. We just had a fight card last night. 
Uh, sorry, not last night. Well, no, yeah. See, that's the damage you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday, we had a fight right. card, and uh, that's all. The proceeds go right to Pan Am Place, and we have you know wonderful donors, and you know a lot of people, metaphorically, in our corner. Uh, to help us out. Ah, yeah. I like that. I wrote. You say that in the interview because I need stuff like yeah, that. It's, okay. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll, when I'm coming for your job, <laughs> don't hit me. <laughs> Please don't hit me. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Mike Bloomquist yes. is a writer on this show. In fact, last week he played a wonderful character called Bill O'Reilly, who was <laughs> knocking down social norms, attacking racism, from. I don't know, part of it, and <laughs> I want to know how good of a boxer is Mike Bloomquist, because he is also a comedian, and we are known for being poor at any kind of battle. <laughs> and yeah. I think that he's a large guy, sure. but what's he like on his feet? You know what, he's too humble. I think that he uh, he's keeping it low key just in case one of you really pisses him off. <laughs> <laughs> Clocks you with him, but he's, uh, no, he works hard, he's always in there. Uh, you know, I always catch him on the treadmill or something. So he's he's like secret in shape. He's like it's like the Navy SEAL, like secret secret society. He's like a Navy fitness. SEAL. Yeah, we just wow. don't know he works out, but he's one of these guys that. He's a, he's oh boy. Actually, I know. He also kind of looks like you too. He might be applying for your job soon. Or, I might have or to fight both of you guys. <laughs> so you saying he's going to kill me and take my job? <laughs> oh, kill. Whoa. Well. Now I might kill both of you and take your... Okay. I well, <laughs> we're uh, out of time, sure. unfortunately. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for coming by. Thanks Pan Am Boxing. Big round of applause once again. Doing great yeah. stuff for our youth. Thank you very much. Great place. And we'll be right back with Chris Bennett. Yeah.